Here we present the 5 best cheap DSLR camera. Let's get started with the list. Starting of our list at number 5. The D5300 was around for a little more than a year before the D5500 technically replaced it, which has in turn been replaced by the D5600. It shares the same 24.2 MP sensor with an identical maximum ISO 25600 sensitivity as the D5500, whilst the D5300's XSpeed 4 image processor and 39-point autofocus system have also been carried over to its replacement. Whilst the D5300 doesn't sport fancy touchscreen control, you do get GPS instead. The D5300 600 shot battery life has since been beaten by the D5500, but it'll still outlast a Canon EOS Rebel T6i 750D. All in all, it may not be the latest entry level DSLR, but the D5300 is still a smart buy. At number 4. The EOS Rebel T6, known as the EOS 1300D outside the US, is one of Canon's most affordable DSLRs in its lineup and while it doesn't share the same latest tech as newer models, it's still a great a solid choice for first-time users. The 18MP sensor is starting to show its age a little, while the AF in live view is a bit on the slow side. But when you consider you're getting a DSLR for the price of an average compact, then it doesn't look too bad at all. It's actually better than the newer EOS 4000D as well. For more information check out the description underneath the video. Halfway of our list at number 3. If you're looking for your first DSLR, then Nikon's D3400 is hard to beat when it comes to price. It might not have the most comprehensive specification, but simply put, the D3400 ticks a lot of boxes for first-time users. The large 24MP APS-C sensor delivers great images that are rich in detail, it's easy to use thanks to the useful onboard guide mode, has an impressive battery life and is backed up by an impressive array of lenses and accessories. A great DSLR that also happens to be great value. Nearing the top of our list at number 2. The Canon EOS Rebel SL2 is the most compact DSLR camera available on the market today. Its specs include a 24MP sensor that can record 1080p video at 60fps, a 3-inch articulating touchscreen. Wi-Fi connectivity with NFC, near-field communication, for one-touch pairing, and a vast selection of lenses. Because it's a compact offering, the SL2 lacks some of the external controls found in its rivals. And coming in at number 1 of our list. The Pentax K70 is an enticing alternative to the mainstream offerings by Canon and Nikon with a weather-resistant body. Its specs include a 24MP sensor, 1080p video capture, an articulating 3-inch display, and Wi-Fi connectivity. The camera features a dedicated selfie button, sensor-level shake reduction tech, and a stereo microphone. However, being a Pentax product, it lacks the lens ecosystem that bigger competitors can offer. For more information check out the description underneath the video. Thanks for watching our video, for more updates subscribe to our channel.